my name is Michael Gorman. I'm the editor-in-chief at Engadget. You are here live on the Engadget stage at CES 2017, and we have a very special guest. I'm very excited. Aisha Tyler is Hello. on. Hello. By way of background, you know, I have, a, I have some very conventional jobs in the entertainment business. I'm a co-host on a daytime show called The Talk on CBS. Uh, I voice a character on a show on FX called Archer. I host a show called Whose Line Is It Anyway on the CW, an improv comedy show, and I am a, I play a, a doctor of forensic psychology on a show called Criminal Minds that's on CBS. So those are all very conventional shows, which are incorporating technology in various ways behind the scenes. That has nothing to do with me. Uh, but in my other life, I host a podcast called Girl on Guy um, that is about arts and culture. Um, it's 20 million downloads uh, globally. Uh, it's a show that I created, that I produce, that I record, edit, conform, upload, do all of the tech. I have no producer. I have a one-woman band for that show. So every aspect of that show is controlled by me, and I do yeah. all of the work. And, and creating that show was... Uh, was made possible entirely by my facility with technology and by the expanding, uh, kind of increasing power that technology that I use to make that show. Yeah. Do you want to do bigger stuff, both? What's the future look like? Every filmmaker wants $100 million. Sure. They're lying if they say that they don't. Um, but what I will do is lie to you right now and say, uh, no, this is actually true. Making a movie for, for a price is the most liberating experience that you can have as a, as a creative. And I don't even just mean, look, I think probably all of you are working within, creative, with, uh, within financial constraints. But what knowing what's off the table affords you is being very focused about what's on the table. And knowing we had seven days and knowing we only had this much money and looking at the options that were available to us, to me, we were able to leverage them in the most exciting and expansive way possible. Um, I shot this movie in a car. The whole movie is set inside a car. It's a thriller about a guy uh, driving across LA and trying to kind of keep his life from falling apart. And, um, you know, so we're inside a car and right. there's only so much available to you in there. But what can you do to make that viewing experience robust and exciting and rich and immersive for your viewer? A lot of that, of the way that I concepted the movie, also came out of the fact that I'm a gamer. And as immersive as, as games are, they're, they're also a pretty constrained space. And yeah. I think the model for making something thrilling to your player uh, is, you know, that kind of visual model, I took that to the film. How can I make this con contained space thrilling to my viewer? You do a lot of promotion on social networks and mm -hmm. those kind of channels. You're very prolific there. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to hear your thoughts just on what social media has enabled you to do for your career. And if you can touch on kind of like, the good parts, and then also if there are any kind of pitfalls that you've learned sure. from. You know, I social media is obviously a really powerful tool, uh, and it's a tool that I use quite a bit. Um, but uh, you know, it's I, I, there's a better metaphor than a gilded cage. But it, you know, yeah. it, it's 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 a tool that enslaves its master. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah grow. and 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 I don't even mean the expectations of just to make sure that you continue to have a robust and ongoing relationship with people. You've got to feed that beast. Yeah, all and, the time. And uh, and and sometimes I spend more money thinking about what I'm going to tweet than about you know the films I'm going to make and and the, and the shows that I'm working on. And that's that's not really like a, a like a, a healthy creative relationship for me to have yeah. on social you know what I mean I just yeah. sometimes I'm like I don't want to talk to people on Twitter today I love Twitter but I'd like to write yeah you're you know I'd like that. to be gener like I'd like to stop talking about the material and actually start generating material and I right. think that that's that's the the pitfalls of uh, of you know having an, an ongoing social media presence I will say that I, t I was talking about this at, uh, at C space yesterday that it's never been and it's only going to get better it's never been a better time to be a content creator because because of social media you can essentially know what your audience wants and deliver it directly to them on an ongoing basis and that's been impossible in you know in more traditional uh, fora and i think you know obviously there's been this explosion in digital media for all kinds of content creators but i think if you were are an, uh, an outlier you don't everybody wants to make a brothers McMullen or a uh, you know a blair witch project um or even, you know, taking it way back, you know, South Park was something that was kind of made as an outlier right, project that yeah. ended up in traditional media. We all want that breakthrough project, but you don't need it to be relevant. You don't need those traditional platforms to be relevant now. You can make something delightful and exciting and deliver it directly to the people who care about it without ever worrying about dealing with traditional, uh, traditional organizations. Right. And I think that's what's exciting about technology. And I think that that tube is only going to get wider, yeah. but it's going to be more challenging to continue to stay connected to the tribe that cares most about what you're doing. And that's why you have to keep 
developing feed, yeah. and, and feeding that beast. Uh, because those people drift away. We all right. drift away. They'll find somebody else. Still trying to finish the third season of Game of, Th of uh, House of Cards. Yeah. Never going to get to it. All right. Well, on that, that's all we have for Maisha. Thank you for joining us here on stage. And uh, there Thanks, is guys. more to come. It was nice talking with you. I appreciate it. And we'll Thanks be back. Thanks for listening. Thank you. 